Swedish Dicks, episode one. We come into this world alone. We leave this world alone. In between, if we're lucky, we find someone we connect with. Hey, no drink and sound retreat. But if you want to, just go ahead. Dear friends, welcome to Los Angeles, the la la land where dreams can come true. And actually mine did. At least for a while. Nowadays, I live in the dark areas of the city. Not as pretty and not less, not less sunny. So how did I, sweet like me, end up in Los Angeles, barely making a living as private investigator? Well, that's a story for another day. All you need to know for now that it is that I bro- was broke. You have a one new message. Igma, it's me, Bill. You owe me six thousand dollars. Motherfucker, with interest, that's eight thousand dollars. Pay up or die. So there I was in a situation where if I didn't get some money and get it fast, I'd lose the business and spend ten years building. But sometimes Lady Duck smiles down on you. No shit. You never catch me, Lingma. Of course I will, Leo. You need to eat less and work out more. What? You call me fat? No, you just just call you slow. You're a dick. Leo, I'm coming to get you. Oh, Leo, Leo, wait, come back. Wait, wait, time out, time out. You're making it too easy, Leo. I think I'm having a heart attack. I am having a heart attack. You're such a drama queen. I'm serious, I'm having a... Uh, yeah, I'm not buying it, Leo. Come on, stand up. We don't have time for this. Let it go, Leo, shit, live, live. I need the money, Leo. Well, that didn't turn out so well, did, did it? We're bounty dead. I was indeed practically basically dead. Private Dicks 101. September 2, 2016. Motor wires. Elevator door bings. What are you doing, Igma? You smell strange. I do sniffs. Smell, yeah, man or manhood. No, it smells like failure and desperation. Speaking of it, of, don't you tell me you had a friend that was going to sell a body part for cash? Yeah. He makes a lot of money. Cash. Yeah. What do you do? What, but when he died after the operation, terrible, painful death. Money asked for funeral. Pay for funeral, though. Why did you ask? No, no reason. I client for you. He is in your office. I'll let him in, Jez. Oh, sorry. I won't keep you waiting. You're the dick. Yeah, I am the dick. Well, I'm the DJ and my laptop. The one with all the music I've been recording last year was broke, stolen. Do you want, do you have any idea who might have it? Axel, Axel? He's actually a Swede like you. I'm not a Swede, I'm an ex Swede. However, whatever. Well, he's a just a DJ. Dance music plays. He used to be kind of big deal. But then he couldn't handle success. Dance music plays. He went crazy. Ah! He wasn't able to make any good music since he stole my laptop. To get some fresh eyed material, fucking loser. But me, before I dive into any your case, I need to make sure you pay me for my services. How much, huh? Oh, muttering in Spanish, Swedish. Well, ten grand? Are you serious? Ah, eight then. Deal. All right. Do you think you can get my computer back? I oh, say, no, I don't think so. I do so. Dance when it plays. I hope you're feeling the love. I know, dance when it plays, listen. Oh, dear, let's stop dreaming about the cars. Stop dreaming about the stars. Dance when it plays. Igmar, start, thanks to lead from the four door axle. It was easy to find, a surprise, he's playing on the car lot. But who am I, am I to talk? Everyone has to go do what they have to do to make a buck. Dance when it plays. What the fuck do you think you're doing? I'm just opening heart. People's hearts. Don't want people opening their motherfucking hearts. I want people opening their motherfucking checkbooks. Are Americans still actually writing checks? I find it so interesting. Stuck the shuck up, fuck up. Play some real music. No, no, keep it going. I'm loving the man, music man. I'm really loving it. No, I'm really, I'm ready to buy them some cars. Uh. Thanks, I'm just an honest bastard, you know. You? You speak Swedish? I speak Swedish. Not now. What do I know? Do how, But now I do. Right, I heard, boss. Hey, come back here. Nice to meet someone from Sweden. Fuck you. Thank you. We walked around everywhere. Like crazy. Hotels, airports, a girl. Can you have sex? Yes, no. I'm a DJ. It's so crazy. Can I have you give you a hug? Let's have some drinks, Dennis. 
In midsummer, it's generally feels like some midsummer, okay? Traditional accordion music playing, surping. Music playing, honks, honks, surping. Do you play all the instruments by yourself? Yeah. Do I do anything? Can I? No, I do everything on the computer. Wow, impressive. Yeah, you know, back in the good old days, you had to play instruments, laughs. Could to be pretty big computer. No, it's just a laptop. Yeah, what? Where do you keep a computer like that? Keep it? I keep it on my table. Listen, forget about me. I want to hear about you. So what? that? What? Do you live here? Yeah, yeah. Cool, cool. What do you want to do? Don't wait. Wait, let me guess. You are, you are retired. You, but before you tired, where did you go to, bartender? Okay, guys, one more velvet for the road, for the boy. Another bonbon for the stuntman. Stuntman? Oh, yeah, kiddo. You're sitting with a true legend. No way, get out of here. So you're the stuntman? You fight and drive cars and jump up rocks? Yo, ha, uh-huh, ha, he laughing. Oh, my God. I wish I could, too, be do something like that, you know. Something physical, and, and it's okay. I feel disconnected with the real world. You know, like a ghost, a machine. Help, help, a ghost, a machine. Make him a, a little Swedish guy reminding me of my last girlfriend. She talked too much. She couldn't handle liquor. Elevator door bings. Hey, do you know what I think? I think it's something I brought us together, like. I think you need to save me from the digital world into our physical world. You're going to make me a stuntman? No, I'm not going to make you a stuntman. Come on, come on, hit me. Hit me like a stuntman. No, I'm not going to hit you. Right. What do you think, I can hard handle pain? Well, I can, I can. Okay, get it. Great, get it. Get in. Are you okay? Never felt better. You know what? This is good for me. Like you, like you, you're honest and you're straightforward. You're tough, like a dad. You see, I never put, knew my father. Do you ever want to be my dad? No, I don't know what to be your dad. Okay, music. So, what do you want over here? Well, well, you pick. No, no, what? Here, hold this. I don't want, I don't need to wait, wait a minute. Door closes. Hello. How are you going in there? Dance music plays, music blowing, snoring, grasping. Uh huh, can't believe it, you got it. Thanks, man. Oh, I owe you. Yeah, about $8,000. Yeah, about that. I'm a little short. Whoa, we had a deal. I can't give you a thousand dollars. I could give you a thousand dollars. We said eight thousand dollars. Well, yeah, well, a thousand's better than nothing. Huh? Uh, you better get, get, give me that. Give me that. Okay, you can have this back when you have the money. Panty Swedish dick, what's the fuck? I want my money, okay, I'll give you the money. Aha, uh-huh, yells, elevator del brings. Son, tire screech. Hey, come back here, you motherfucker. Shit, where's my computer? Ah, uh, where's my computer? Ragging bell groans. Where's my computer? Oh, uh, uh, wait a minute, the computer is yours? It's all my music on it. Wait back, easier than said and done. Shit, what? What? Have I, I didn't have it. Oh, you're lying. What? You like... When you said you were a stuntman, you're a private detective. How the hell did you find that out? Have you ever heard of GPS? I've got a tracking device on your computer. Yes, help me, help me out. Get to the office. You can get your computer back. Ah, did you, did you do that on purpose? Yes, I did. Fuck, he must have turned off the GPS. He clearly did it. Who is he? He calls himself a corridor. What does he look like? Like the snooty kids look like. But wait, son, son, you saw the guy who was with here the other day. He's white, like you. Who, you? Who, me? You make fun with me, I English? No, no, sorry, you speak Korean. You speak Korean? Just, a, well, just a little bit. Picked up when I was going, doing some in here, in South, or North. Are you South Korea? North Korea kind of freaks me out. I am from North Korea, son. Can you please describe this guy, the guy, remember, in a nectar to... A night to two in his neck. Neck to two? Is, is that him? That's him. I knew who he is. I know where we can find him. Shit, I'm so stupid. I was DJ in his club, Igma. Axel explained how he could have been making some good money. DJ in a nightclub in the valley. Is there he met Theodore, the bartender of the club. He said he loved my music and asked if I'd written something new. Was, how can I be so stupid? I know, it's my ego, Igma. Look at me, ego. Look at what you're ho- at me. I'm a whore. I'm an emotional whore. There it is. It's his car. You sure? Yeah. Oh shit. What? 
I know the guy who knows the place. Who's good. You want to mess with him? Here is a promise. Here is a promise to TJ's laptop. He's got new songs in there. Songs that haven't been released. Yeah, some really good shit. He's fucking judging that. I'll be judging of that. Plays it plays. Here it is. You know the place? Yes. Right. Is it right? A hairdryer. What is it? No, open it. Then. Plays it plays. You stay here. Shall you not come? Yep, great. You'll get the money. Is that it? Is that blood? Yeah, not to worry about it. So the human whispers. Whispers showtime. I've done, ladies. No, hold up. Hold it. Drop the gun. Toss it to the ground in hairs. Who the fuck are you? Or what the hell are you doing in my club? I'm a private dick. And this punk hired me to steal the computer. I had to steal your computer. You outsourced another. Yeah, I had a shit to do. Fucking Memelia. You know what? I'm going to take that computer. I will be on my way, Igma. I thought you would have an agreement. All right, this is going to work out in one or two ways. Are you going to have him shoot you and take the computer? Or are you going to give me the computer and I'm going to have him shoot you? Ah, your choice. Fuck you, dick. Shut the guy. Well, I'm last quick question before you kill me. I'd like you to send me off to, like an astronaut. What the fuck? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Music does what it plays. Hey, if they shoot me, I'm going to have shoot your boss. What? Hey, I say I'm going to shoot you. If you shoot me, music blurry. I can't hear you. What, Axel? He hears he's nothing. Turn on music. Music stops. Yeah, going to shoot you. If he shoots me, yeah, I understand. You're going to. You're going to give us a computer? We're going to walk out of here. You understand? That's your music, yeah. It's good. Uh, well, thanks. Always nice to meet a fan. I'm not a fucking fan. My son is. He wants to be a disc jockey. When he's, it was a tremendous, but he's fucking tentless. So I thought if I stole your music and release it under his name, he might be assessed in the music business. Otherwise, he's going to go into another, into drug business like me. I don't win that life for him. Wow. That's just the nicest strangers with no, Nicest, weirdest thing I've ever heard. Igma, hey, give me, give this to your son, Corona. Really? Thank you. What the hell are you doing? Have you gone crazy? I do not know. Maybe. I don't think it's pretty good, pretty, but I think it's good crazy. Something beautiful tells me that, that it's time for change. Time for change. Give him the money. No way, this is my money, grunts. Fucking millennial. Well, what was the Los Angeles boy, Igma? What are you going to do now you sold your music? Oh, well, I was thinking, come, come and work for you. Excuse me? Well, you have to admit, you're with a good team. It's extremely annoying. Well, so are you. I want to work with you. I can't afford to pay you myself. So can you, I hire, so how can I hire you? No, you're not going to hire me. I'm going to hire you. I already, Peter Darkness, laughing, never. I always work alone. It's a principle of mine. Just, I'll give you half. See you Monday. Well, folks, that's the story how I managed to pay off my debts and how the Swedish itch became the Swedish, the Swedish dick became the Swedish dicks. I feel dick. You are still wondering how I went from an awfully old winning stuntman to a small time private investigator, drinks beer in a cemetery, who is eventually finding himself behind up in a chair, banning building an assassin, ready to kill me. Well, that is a story for another day.